that I, I'm not involved in, I don't have to care about it. <laughs> As a fan of the game, you gotta care. That's true. Gotta... It's, it's more just the fact that, like, like when I'm dealing with, like, my own character's matchup, it's like, all right, I gotta figure out the answer to this because yeah. that's imperative to me getting farther in bracket. When it comes to, you know, stuff about, like, the, the Falco Peach matchup, it's it's good to know, and I certainly hope to, you know, bring some knowledge to the commentary, but it's not it's not life or death for me. Who do you play? Uh, ice Climbers. Ice cli oh, Ice Climbers. Yes. Hell yeah. I, I got a secondary Ice Climbers. Oh, hell yeah. I huge Ice Climbers enjoyer. But That's my main is Peach, and so I'm out here rooting for, for Guava. Although I hear that 404 Cray is kind of cracked at this matchup. That's interesting, because I was, I was thinking, because 404 Cray, uh, a Long Islander, if I'm not mistaken, and they've had, I mean, not not a huge amount of peaches, but I feel like there's a little bit of a peach history out there. I'm mostly thinking about Lana Del Cray, who I haven't seen around in forever, but I have a huge respect for. Shout outs. Um, so yeah, I guess, I mean, we'll see exactly what he pulls out. Already got the full first already, stock here. Already up a stock. And I do very much like the aggressive uh, laser game because I feel like if you let Peach pull turnips, it's very, it can be fa more favorable for her, yeah. but there's is no- Is that a dot eye? Or no, it was a winky. Winky, uh, winky yep. yeah. But, uh, there's, but at the same time, there's no real reason to let Peach pull turnips, which you can kind of see, like, yeah. it feels like every, every second of this match so far, either Peach has been in disadvantage or has been getting lasered. Yeah, but in all honesty, this isn't a, a super uh, turnip heavy matchup. Um, just like, uh, oh no, oh, that was an unfortunate ah. SD. Just lost track of the double jump and the float. Yeah. Um, tried to do the the Michael Fresh turn up thing there on, on respawn. <laughs> but no, the 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 main thing about this matchup, and we'll see it more if we go to the final destination, is that Peach has a float height that exists between Falco's short hop laser and full hop laser. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this matchup comes down to trying to maneuver uh, vertically. Uh, against lasers. Oh, this is a really important. Ooh, grab ledge. Gets it at 40. That's huge. That's huge. These low percent kills are going to be massive. Yeah. Especially after that SD. That's that's a great comeback. Yeah. Just shake it off. Ooh, that shine. Wow. Kills, that that's had like to have been like the lo one, yeah lowest percent. I feel like that would have killed. A stalled shine wouldn't have. Uh, yeah. Stale, stale shine. Sorry. Wouldn't have done that. But I feel like maybe that that this might speak to 404's. Um, each experience oh, with because I feel like his lasers have been super on point so far and I feel like that might be being used yeah. to Peach's float heights and wh what t the timing of the lasers he needs to be Ooh, that's scary and it and locking it's down dead. Wob on the ledge Wob is uh. going for this kind of cool like uh, wave land off the, yeah. the ledge which I see on platforms. I don't think I've ever seen a peach other than Guava go for that on the the ledge. Yeah, because it's so it's so such tight timing, and it feels like the risk reward is like it, it can definitely be worth it if it hits you. But considering the difficulty, it feels a little skewed. Yeah. And Guava got hit by that laser, and then what do you do? You're off stage. Yeah. And might not have the jump, yeah. but we go to FD uh, or sorry, Dreamland. So I'm. Do they know it's uh, best of three? I'm assuming. I mean, I'm assuming that uh, four or four ban FD okay, doesn't yeah. want to deal with the chain grabs, and that just gives you know all this space. But you know, I'm almost wondering like like with how much four or four has been dominant with the laser game. I guess it gives Peach more vertical height to get away yeah. from the lasers. I, I think that FD is actually better versus Falco than like say Fox, who can run away and laser and just uh -huh. build damage. Where Peach has ways to get in against that laser on FD, whereas. The platforms allow 404 Cray to mix up his laser heights, yes. the same way Peach wants to mi uh, mix up the the float heights. Yeah. But Guava gonna find a grab and oh, finds gets a full the, hop forward air. And the turn up. What? Oh, what I, a, what a sequence. What? I don't what? know. That's one of those things where I feel like if you if you, I I don't know if that was intentional or not. But I'm also wondering what it would have been if it wasn't intentional. So it, I, it feels like there was some sort of jump read going on there. Yeah, that that had to have been a read, and like my brain is like, I, I I'm cannot I'm not on Guava's level to understand yeah. <laughs> the layers that get you to that full hop fair off up throw. But it worked, and it was a great sequence, yeah. and we got an even game. And yeah. 404 Cray playing these platforms to try to find laser heights. You know, Dreamland even better that you can mix up your your uh, heights even more because the platform on the right is slightly lower than the platform on the left. Oh yeah, I did forget about yeah. that fun melee fact. Couple pixels.
all of the difference. This is a game of pixels and frames. Absolutely. Oh. So, uh, Guava did like a little bit of shield DI to try to get closer and maybe shield grab 404, but Ooh, I think didn't mixed up the full hop that was and that could a great be down it. smash. Uh, great down smash. That was maybe the worst spacing that 404 could have had yeah. to get caught in all of that, but also be below the platform and still get sent off. But I mean, that, that feels like that. it's been the set so far where I feel like 404 has been sort of dominating the neutral Love. a lot, but Guava keeps finding these little situations and taking the maximum advantage of them to, to keep in the game and even take a lead like he's got here. And you know, Peach does have a little more leniency, whereas Falco kind of has to play super on point. You know, you could argue about who wins the matchup, but matter of the fact is Falco has to be more on point with their tech skill. It's easier for them to die yeah. off a mistake like, than it is like for this. Peach. Or unless it gets burned. Yeah. That's so unfortunate. But Guavo sort of messed up there and is still, oh, this is a crazy going sequence. Chase on the platform, still just going. takes the nair damage. The finishes it, we love to see it. Very, very sick. Okay. That uh, Guava floating off stage in between stocks and throwing that turn up up. He did that like three times against Hatsune Mitsuki and that turn up hit their fox like all three times. It was, <laughs> they never learned. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna have to watch that. All right, great down airs and just chasing. Many sequences. The, yeah, just reading the tech rolls. Oh, but. Doesn't quite finish, but gets the laser operate. locking at the ledge. has made it so hard for Guava to get back in once he gets in this disadvantage stage. But man just to find some space, pulls the turn up, just throws it away, doesn't manage to do much with it. Shine doesn't isn't gonna get a follow-up at this percentage. What a tech from Guava. That's such a weird situation for it. Probably wasn't even expecting a fair, but you know, you take it when you get it. 404 is just doing such a great job of dodging the aerials. Yes. And like not And I love Jab Up. We still got a there. game, we still got a game. It's still Random. last dot. <laughs> I love love jab up smash there because I feel like it's a it's an option that Falco a lot of Falcos aren't gonna be thinking of in that situation even if it is optimal. So that just shows the level that 404 Cray is playing on, is thinking on, just acting on. Got this oh, combo up going. That up tilt to keep it going was great. And just came down with the full hop down air. Oh my god. Oh my god, the back air. I did not. Not looking good for all of us Ooh. Guava fans. I do like that fade back fair though. It covered a lot of that forward space while also giving Guava some good room to land. It's the only reason he's alive right now, but that up smash, not, not gonna do it. We're on Dreamland. Five. Holy That's shit. the Dreamland difference. Okay, do we see a little we got parasol it. away? Yep, there Ooh. it is. Yes, just gonna get back to ledge safe, but the back air is gonna oh, do it. That was great DI too. Yeah. <laughs> see 404 space. He's just like, Whoo. Yeah, I well, mean, both, about that. both of those were very close games. Guava kept it tight the entire time. Unfortunately. And, yeah. Unfortunate result.